Hey everybody, um, I often get asked how do I modify the HANA checker stand model within the native Fusion 360 um, file. So I thought I'd make this quick tutorial and show you how I've set this up. So assuming you've loaded the F3D into your, uh, into your admin project or wherever you want to put it, um, once the model comes in, go right to the selection sets expand your choices and here's where I've hidden all the options. Now this model supports alkalinity and calcium and then everything else. The alkalinity and calcium are different in that they include liquid reagents and the calcium option also has powder packets to go on top of it. So within any combination those are represented here. So what I like to do is find out which selection set is active and you can tell by hovering over the select icon and if it highlights all the features on the top row, that's your active set. So if I went to here to the ALK and CA option, you can see that it clearly isn't selecting all the features at the top or at the top row, such as these uh, show as well. So I'm gonna go here, and this is assuming that you don't want the ones that are displayed. And then I'm going to right click and suppress features. Give your uh, PC a moment to refresh that in the browser or the window. And then we're going to go ahead and say, hey, instead, I'm going to say I want to use the ALK option, which is the alkalinity plus any two other tests that are not calcium. So I'm going to click the select button and then I'm going to right click and click unsuppress features. And then you can see here we have the space or feature for the liquid alkalinity reagent and then two others. Now, let's say we wanted to uh, not use uh, phosphate, but um, let's say instead I use the copper. In the, uh, in the assembly area, for convenience, I've located the sketches for those there. So I'll expand that. And you can see where it says testing types. Double click on that. Double click on the sketch for that. And then up here, we just type in CU for copper and then finish sketch and you can see now it's changed to that. Now you can also change the um, branding which is the middle row so if you don't want it to say Hannah feel free to change that and then the custom text is the top row. Now I've messed that up a little bit you can see that it's off base a little bit so just flip it around double click on the text and then Put in your custom text. Say OK. And you can change the size now. If you cram too much text in here, um, you can certainly reduce the font size and fit a little bit more in there. So we'll say OK. And then we can see that we have our custom text here. And simply put, that's all you have to do. Once you have it configured as you want it, you go to Export, change it from the native Fusion 3D file to STL, name it put it to location, hit export, and you're ready to import it into your slicer. Thank you.